Hello folks, and welcome back to episode 5 of Modding Stranded Alien Dawn. In the last episode, we learned how to modify some traits of our modded kin. The episode before that, we learned how to bring in a, uh, where I think? No, we learned how to bring in a, uh, sidearm for our modded kin. And before that, we learned how to make our own sidearm. In today's episode, we are going to learn how to create our own scenario, like a, a what's the name of the scenarios again? A crashed landing or crash landing, military outpost, and a trader outpost, and then the new update, which is a, a guardian. So we're going to learn how to make our own scenario. All right, so I'm going to turn off all other mods and I'm going to go back to our stream mod. This the mod that we was working on and stuff like that. And then we're going to go right over here to our mod editor. And I will actually, once we get through these episodes and tutorials and stuff like that, I'll upload this to the Steam Workshop. That way you, the viewer, can uh, download our mod that we worked on together and built together and stuff like that. So, all right, now this is going to load up. It's going to take a minute to load up because I'm also recording as well. And I'm also monitoring my uh, discord because I'm also talking with another content creator because they're wanting to do uh, some, I think they want to bring in their own map to uh, uh, art survival and all that stuff we're going to go ahead and close that out if, for those y'all that don't know whenever you first load the mod editor up it always opens up a tab in your browser to where you can go to so we just kind of turn that tab down and stuff like that all right now what we can do if y'all remember we can uh shrink our uh play window right here okay that way we can have the game playing in the background and It'd be just a little bit easier for us to look at things, how things are progressing in the game and all that stuff. Now, some things uh, will not hot load. Uh, for those of y'all that don't know, hot load is where a um, program allows, when you make changes, it will update in, in, in live, um, live while you're in the program. And it basically, it hot loads it. It reloads everything that it needs to load. Stuff like that. We're just kind of adjusting our menus a little, little bit. That way we can see what we got going on. That way we can just go from here to here to here if need be. All right. So, uh, in order for us to create our own um, scenario, we want to go up here. Um, if y'all don't, if you're un just tuning into these episodes and you're unfamiliar, just go watch episode one, two, three, and four. And then you'll be caught up with everybody here. So we're going to come up here to our new tab. Okay, and we're going to go, I think it's gameplay. Uh, new, 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 new scenario right here. Okay, so it's uh, gameplay and then scenario right here. Okay. Now we want to call this... Uh, uh, mod I'm, I'm trying to look under the camera uh, there it is and then we want to go ahead and call it scenario scenario we want to go ahead and hit enter okay and then let's copy it from um, uh, let's copy it from military outpost okay no. Let's copy it from uh, robots. Uh, now, robots is the new guardians scenario. They just call it robots. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and copy everything that we need from this, and then we're going to uh, let's see. It says guardians right here, but we're going to change that to this right here without the. Uh, Oops, that is the wrong thing. 
Uh, let's see. Copy. There we go. Uh, for those of y'all that don't know, that is uh, a text message because me and Virginia are expecting to have a little one. Um, so, yeah. All right, now we want to backspace and then space. Move our arrow over. Backspace and then space. And then we want to go up here to this one. I just pushed the up arrow uh, to get up here. Oh. There we go. All right, beautiful. And then we're going to go ahead and save that. Okay. Now, in here in this description, uh, we're going to just add some stuff right here. Uh, let me find my keyboard. Because the where the mic's set and stuff like that, it's right where I need to see on the keyboard because I didn't adjust it properly. Let me see if I can just kind of adjust this real quick. Give me just a second, guys. You might hear some bumping, knocking, and all that stuff. Um, all right, this is our stream modded scenario mod. And then we're going to also safeguard hope. Okay. And then we're going to leave that right there. And then we can add the scenario tag used for checks regarding scenario specific events. We can use this in crash landing, military outposts, and all that stuff. We're going to try that and see. Um, and then also, there's something else that I want to do as well. I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of these items right here. Okay. So I'm going to create one. Actually. Hold on. Uh. Let's see. Uh, give me just a second. All right, we're gonna remove lock lock state. Okay. And then class is gonna be. Um. Mm -hmm, Is it recipe? Uh, workbench, weapons, tools, clothing, food generator, preset ID. I think that's going to be false. Enabled. Some property is not set. So let's go ahead and save that. But here's what I was actually going for. So what I'm going to do as a reference, I'm going to go ahead and go up to gameplay, left click, go back here and create a new scenario. And then this scenario is, um, we're going to call this scenario since I find the ID, to, there we go, uh, reference. Okay. All right. And then we're going to copy this one from our military outpost. Okay, there we go, military outpost. All right, this is what we're looking for right here, okay? All this stuff right here doesn't matter. We're looking for this right here. Okay, let's go to our mod scenario, and let's go ahead and deselect these right there, okay? Because when we go to our scenario uh, selection menu, then uh, we'll have this option right here which would be the guardian scenario but this is our modded scenario all right so let's go back to reference we want to go back to uh can we copy all and we want to go right here and paste over 
Okay. Alright. And then let's go ahead and go back to this one. Alright. And the reason why we copied that over um, is because um, we're going to go ahead and change this reference one now. We're going to copy it from um, our um, uh, robots one. Okay, that way we can just add these right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go to our mod right here. Let's go ahead and add one. Hmm. Well, hold on. Let's let's just see what this is. Uh, uh, remove hide from repair parts. Okay. Let's make sure that it is not in here. It would it would be remove hide, remove hide. Okay, we need to go ahead and add remove hide from. Uh, let's find remove uh, lock state. Okay, where's it at? Uh, remove hide all right let's go back to this one and let's uh, click this so we can see class recipe workbench repair parts state hidden um, so we can go here uh, is it this one I think it's this one all right so it was class recipe uh, workbench workbench Preset ID. Let's go back to this one to get our uh, uh, repair parts. Let's go ahead and copy this over. Okay. Okay. Right, just double check. All right, so remove hide for repair parts reason. No reason. We don't have to give a reason. Let's right, remove hide for repair parts reason. No reason. Okay. Now let's go do the same thing with this second one. Uh, silicone or silica energy. Let's go ahead and uh, do that. Okay. Uh, can we copy? Um, well, no, we can't copy. Okay, well, it's going to be class tech resources. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's go ahead and create us a new one. Uh, let's see, where's that? Remove lock state. What was it again? Shit. Lily just forgot. That's silly. Remove or uh, class tech resources. Okay. All right. And it's going to be class tech group resources. Uh, silicone energy gel hidden. Okay. There's that one. And then the last but not least, let's uh, remove trading, which is going to be tech construction trading. Okay, tech construction trading. Let's go back to our thing. Let's go ahead and create us another one. All right, so we're going to remove lock state. Let's go back down here because it always puts it at the bottom. Uh, tech construction. Uh, trading hidden okay beautiful all right now that we've got that let's go ahead and change this from guardians our reference let's go ahead and copy this from uh, uh, let's go ahead and take that to trading 
and C. Trading pod building. Remove hide from trading pod building. Okay, beautiful. Alright, so let's go ahead and add us another one. Remove. Uh, where, where's my R's at? There it is. Remove lock state. Uh, what was that again? It was, uh, uh, reference. Nope, we went way down. Okay. It is, uh, building composite def structures trade pot bin. Okay. Uh, let's go back down here to the bottom of this list. Build confident group. What was it again? <laughs> I have a memory the size of a flea's brain. Uh, structures. And then trade pod building. So it's structures. Okay, so that'd be, yep, structures, try it, and then hidden, okay, and then that is the only one on this one, <clears throat> so now we have our, our mod that starts off with the um, military options that and, and text, as well as the, um, um, uh, um, shoot, where did we get the other ones from? The uh, the guardians, then the military uh, outpost, and now the trading outpost. All right, so that's what we uh, have brought in. So we can go ahead and delete that item because we no longer need it. It was just a reference. All right, now let's see. Now let's go ahead and thumb that thumb down here and see uh we can start with whatever loot we want to start with and we're not going to do it in this episode but i can we can bring in our own loot starting loot template and all that stuff but we're not going to do that for right now okay uh, so we're going to leave that as is uh scatter starting loot yes resource pile max resource pile uh let's see we can start with here's where we can choose uh we're gonna leave all these the same for right now now this right here the character selection this is where you can start with as many characters as you want if y'all played the uh guardian scenario then you know you only start with three people so what we're going to do is we're going to allow us to start with eight people okay uh, and then uh, that way we can select eight people to start the uh, mod with okay now right here you can force the game in this little section let's go ahead and close these little things right here out right here in this little section right here you can select what rules you want to start with big family eternal uh bliss that right there causes this scenario to start with those rules enabled and you can't un enable them Okay, so, and vice versa, this right here uh, allows you to uh, start with specific rules disabled and you cannot enable them, okay? So, if you want to do that, definitely experiment with it and go from there. All right, <clears throat> now, we have a, a crash landing, farming, military outpost, cliffs, debris, debris fall, and stuff like that. And... I'm not sure exactly <coughs> what the start prefab tags actually <coughs> includes and all that, but I'm pretty sure that it starts with crash landing. Um, so we could probably do the instead of the crash landing, we can do the military outpost. Let's just see if that does anything for us. All right. Functions landing scene. Let's uh, uh, We're gonna change that up a little bit. Let's go with gameplay 
um, and go with scenario. And look, we're gonna uh, um, copy from military outpost because I think that's kind of a cool little thing. All right, crash landing. Let's go all the way down here to roughly where we're at. Military outpost. All right. Now we're gonna select this. We're gonna select all of this and we're gonna copy all that. Okay, that's the start prefab. Okay, then we're gonna go back up here to this. We're gonna go to the same selection. And then we're going to paste. And it should be roughly the same now. Okay, yep. Function itself, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now let's go down to the next section. Message reaction, resource unlocked. Um, self res player reason building. Um, now let's go to art and see what it says. Uh, we have to kind of come over here and scroll past that. All right, there we go. <clears throat> All right, check game scenario tag. Uh, that would be this up here. So what we're going to do. Is we're going to go ahead and save this for right now. Uh, we have to delete this out because it's not. It's all right. So now we've got all this stuff, and we're going to delete, or we're going to go ahead and test the game. Okay. So let's go ahead and go back to our game. Let's go ahead and uh, go to main menu. And let's go ahead and go with new game. And up here, scenario. Let's go ahead and look for ours. We got crash landing, trading outpost, military outpost. And then we have the guardians, the new guardians. That is the new scenario. The, I think it's the DLC or something like that. And then this is our modded scenario. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and click next. All right. So we already got eight people selected. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, uh, take uh, and put our modded kin in there as well. Okay, might as well play with him because he's part of the mod, right? All right, so we've already got eight people selected, and I'll actually show y'all how to do bring in your own version of Hope as well. Uh, but we'll probably change her to like Hope 2.0 or something like that. All right, so let's go ahead and maximize this. Noticed it's playing the intro to military, the uh, military uh, version and stuff like that. Okay. So we're going to watch it land. All right, now let's see what everything does. All right, and there is our landing, okay, and here's Hope, uh, where's she at, there she is, there's Hope, all right, let's go ahead and pause it, and look at our beautiful, lovely Hope, there she is, right there, so now you have a different intro, you have different people starting the game, so you actually have a total of nine people, okay, so there you go ladies and gentlemen that is how you start creating your own scenario okay so we're gonna go ahead and finish this episode here in just a few seconds we'll get everything put back to where they go right. now before I uh, end this episode you can go in and, and set up the, the, the camera and all that stuff in this right here uh, be careful that you don't mess with something that you're not supposed to because you can't actually crash the game like uh make sure if you like change this from like a 30 to a 25 make sure that that asterisk right there is still there you know things like that so and if you don't know exactly what you're doing in this little section of your scenario then by all means don't touch it because you can definitely hurt yourself 
as well as as far as the mods concerned so yeah if you don't know exactly what you're doing then don't don't mess with that okay now you right for example right here flare minute time flare max time uh, what that means is how the minimum time that the flares are on the ground and then the max time is how long the flares burn after you start the scenario you can change that number and those numbers and stuff like that that's it's not a problem you're not gonna hurt nothing um flare minimum time flare max time uh game time you can change this number the flares will burn longer and stuff like that as well uh let's see um just going through some more things here real quick uh let's see uh wait for the game to start and take off back Create game time thread function. Wait, game starts sleep. Two thousand is valid. If it is valid, drop ship. Then drop ship take off. So basically, this is how long it takes for the uh, drop ship to lift off once the game starts. Okay. All right, now, uh, there are some other things like starting resources. We already looked at that. We already looked at the characters and stuff like that. Now. I haven't quite uh, function game starts robots, uh, then return ID hope, survival change opinion of hope, okay. Um, unit skill level, 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 all uh, that event, uh, intellectual, and then final attack once she reaches level 10. Now, what I was wanting to do is um, try to mix a combination of um where you get bugs attacking as well as robots attacking in in the um thing but i'm not quite sure how to go about doing that but i'm i'm definitely looking into it as i have time and stuff like that so because i think it'll be a neat scenario where you have both robots attack you as well as um the bugs and stuff like that so but i hadn't quite found it here in the uh scenario thing just yet <clears throat> let's see their mission of three members yeah so i hadn't found that just yet um and it might be simply uh crash landing and trader uh and military outpost let's go ahead and select all those and we'll go ahead and save it and then i'll test it out off camera but guys that's how you can create your own scenario in in the game based off of other scenarios of the game and stuff like that. And you can do this with all of them. So I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. And hopefully I can get another episode out within the next day or so as well. But anyway, guys, as always, happy gaming, happy modding. And definitely hope y'all had an awesome holidays and all that stuff. And until next time, we'll see you then.